Stephanie Goldemer, and I went to the San Diego Zoo to take a closer look at each one of these endangered species. Come on, let's go into the San Diego Zoo. Our first animal is the elephant. Let's take a look in the elephant odyssey. The trunk holds water, up to 14 quarts of water at a time. The proboscis, or the trunk, is also used for drinking, wiping an eye, social greetings, picking up food, bathing, etc. Elephants weigh 260 pounds on average and live up to 60 years old. The oldest recorded elephant lived to be 82 years old. Now get this, elephants are in great danger even though they don't have any natural predators. Humans are notorious for killing elephants for their tusks, which are made out of ivory. Moving on to the polar bear. Polar bears are the largest of the bear species. Their scientific name is Ursus smartimus, which means sea bear in Latin. Polar bears can be yellow or white. Polar bears can appear to be very soft, cuddly, and cute. But beware. These animals can be very dangerous and often deadly. Live in the Arctic Circle, which includes parts of North America, Europe, and Asia. This map is an aerial view of the Arctic Circle and the purple shading outline shows where polar bears can be found. Moving on to the spotted black jaguar. can be found in Mexico and South America. It prefers the rainforest and is one big cat in the Panthera genus. Jaguars used to be found near the Grand Canyon. Jaguars love water and they usually live near rivers, swamps, and lakes. They live under dense canopies so they can stalk the prey. If I came face to face with this guy, I'd run up a tree. Take a look at those paws. What would you do? You are face to face with a bear. Let's check out the amazing cougar, aka mountain lion. They can be found in Canadian provinces, Alberta and British Columbia, as well as the western states of the United States. Check out that coat, and what a face! Wow, isn't this feline a beauty? The cougar is very adaptable and can be found in almost any habitat. It eats deer, elk, bighorn sheep, and even some rodents like rats. Well, that, that wraps it up at the San Diego Zoo. But the question remains, what would you do if you had to be face-to-face -face with one of these dangerous, endangered animals?